Howdy, welcome to the third episode of Rising Light Pacifist. Last episode, we took on Castle Domitresk and came away with four more kills added to our name. We were left with only one road ahead of us, a locked gate, which luckily we could just shoot the lock off of. Fishy. I can't kill the fishy, it's not pacifist. Clear our boys together as one in reverence. We call on you. Heading back towards the village, we run into that old woman again. She gives us some type of riddle, and then we see what looks to be like a weird random crest on the wall. I'm gonna drop the joke, it's just umbrella. We then run into a infestation of lichens, which you can easily just run right past. Because they despawn as soon as you hit the door. Run past them. Press the door. They all despawn. Because the center altar right here acts somewhat as a safe room because there's a safe point right over there. There you are. I had a feeling you would pop up here. It was all worthless. Is that so? Yeah, Duke is terrible. I went to the castle, didn't even find Rose, but I did add three more people to my count. Why, you have your daughter right in your own hand. What are you saying? Take a closer look. <laughs> uh, Duke, this is just her head. Where's the rest of her? You said I have my daughter in my hand, not my daughter's head in my hand. <sighs> that flask seems to contain her head. Yeah. So where's the rest of her, like you initially said? What? what? Roses? Don't say another word! This... This is impossible! This just can't be! Your daughter's essence is still intact. Her powers are truly unique. Who... Who could even do this? She can be saved, you I mean, yeah, after everything Eth has been through, just throw some goop juice, everything will be fine. House with a red chimney on the western side of the village. Go and seek out the man who lives there. Then we can continue our conversation. A house with the red chimney. Uh, yeah, wait, okay, what am I doing? <laughs> So if I can do this... If you don't know what I'm aiming at, there's a lock on that door right there. Heading into this next little segment here. We have to raise the tractor so that we can move on to the other side of the road because the door that's in the building right next to it has a lock on it now, even though it didn't previously. All these ligands that spawn here are docile enough on casual difficulty to not really be all that dangerous. Ethan, continue climbing. Or sliding, I mean. And... If I did this right... I 
I did it! I did a thing! You know, the door is usually locked because it's a padlock because you're only supposed to be able to open it after you go around. But because I had explosives, I could just get it from all the way back there. I did a thing that actually talented speedrunners do. I was also able to skip all those enemies. One of them has a lot of armor and is really tough and annoying. I didn't flash the like it in the house because after some testing, I found out that the flash round does actually kill him. As far as I know, he's the only enemy that acts this way, but it did result in his death. How was it? Did you learn anything? I found these feathers. Now tell me how to fix this like you said you would. Settle down. First, you must use that key and collect all of your little roses flasks. Where are the rest of them? There are four in total. You have the one, and the other lords have the rest. Lords? Mother Miranda is the cold, calculating ruler of this village. Four lords serve under her. The first you've already met, the Lady Demitresk. The second lives deep in a valley of mist, the Dollmaker, Donna Beneviento. None of her playmates have ever come back from that dank old estate. The third is Moreau, a being of twisted flesh that lives in the reservoir past the windmill. It is said that he is not the only monster that lives in those waters. The fourth and most dangerous is Heisenberg. He works in his factory on the village outskirts. And the project. Let's just say parts of the human imagination are better left alone. If you truly wish to save your daughter, you must first gather the four flasks. I'll do you a personal favor. I've marked the Lord's locations on your map. Wait, hold on. What map? After Duke explains who rules over what in the village, we head off to the only door available to us at this point, house leading off to Beneviento. Long walk there, we come across multiple oddities such as a ghost Mia, dolls, and more dolls. Wait, I can't do that joke because I couldn't... Because it would be against the rules to kill the it? animals. Now I can make the joke work. What's going on? You know, this game has too many elevators. Come with me. Okay. Am I really gonna make the same joke in two different videos? Yes, yes I am. Heading into the Beneviento house, we see all sorts of... Oh, someone's calling me. Hold on. Uh... 
I don't know a Jack Lane. Hello, is this Don Cash? Yeah. Yes, okay, I got it right then. I'm responding to the ad you put out in your last video about wanting to do things on a more weekly basis. Yeah, I remember doing that. Why, do you have an idea? I have the perfect thing for you. The Sunday Show. Obviously, it doesn't have to be called that. Hmm. Okay, well, what would this Sunday Show be? It would be a new show. Obviously, delve it into politics, you know, once in a while. So I understand if you. Oh, 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 oh. Did you say politics? I'm in. Well, I think that settles it then. I'm ready to start whenever you want me to. Alright. Well, looks like I got the Sunday slot filled. Wait. How did he have my number? Heading into the Beneviento house, we see all sorts of oddities, from the house being perfectly arranged but nobody being here, to the weird creepy painting of Donna Beneviento and her doll, and doors that are conveniently unlocked to lead us in one single path. This next section is pretty, pretty good, and I mean pretty cool. I did use speed strats, so even if I do leave this all unedited, it won't be that long. And by speed strats, I meant I tried my best to do something cool, and I probably failed a lot from my memory. So I will leave this next section unnarrated and unedited, unless I think of something cool. This next section right here has no bearing on the pacifist challenge. It's just amazing. No, I don't think I will. Wait, where's my gun? Wait, she took my guns? Sweet. I didn't need them anyway. You know, this is pacifist challenge, not shoot them challenge, you know? You don't. Why would I even need guns in a pacifist challenge anyway? So yeah, you don't actually have to unlock that other door. Um. Why is this here? Let's see if I can actually remember the code this time. Did I get it? Boom, baby. I did it. Finally. I usually mess up like at least once or twice. So I just got tweezers. Yeah, that's right. You go to this room and like you back and forth between this room so many times. It's hard to keep track. Is my music all the way down? I've been told that turning the music all the way down and like sound effects and all that up makes this part scarier. I don't think that's gonna be possible because I've played it so many times, but I've never played this section with headphones. Not like this. That echo seems better with the range turned up. Toy.
No. Okay. I knew I wouldn't get that one. Oh, okay, so it is. Uh. Okay. Yeah, so I was like, okay, okay, okie dokie. Toy book baby box ring. Really cool if I could green screen that and put something over it. If if I can, like if I can find an editing thing to do that, I will. Um, but you know, That's not good. It'll be fine. You sure? Watch this quick turn. I'm going full speed strats. Um, so I'd usually hide in that locker right there. So I got the breaker box key. I don't think it like it shouldn't know I'm here. Baby came this way.
I've done this a hundred times. I've only ever seen the baby do this once. Well, Thomas over here doesn't. Okay, so there is a complicated skip I'm going to attempt to do up here that I might fail because I'm not the best at it. <laughs> turn, turn, he's supposed to turn. Not my most enjoyed and not my most enjoyable vor. Hey, don't make a better version of that joke in editing. Yeah, I got nothing. That joke just sucked. Okay. I've gotten the skip to work before. Did I do something wrong? <laughs> oh, I went too far back. Okay. Also, I gotta brighten this in editing because even in where I'm seeing it, I can't see a damn thing. I'm just getting bad baby RNG. It was already back. Press it. Go, go in. I hate this freaking section. I hate this baby. Oh, that, yeah, that echo. I've been playing this game wrong the whole time. After finally escaping the hell of the basement, we are throwing some fresh new nightmares in a game of hide and seek with Tiffany and her dolls. Wait! Try and find me. <laughs> played this a million times and still forgetting where things are. I remember the first one here is always the same. It's the second and the third place she's at is when the randomness comes in. Fucking monster. You gotta say that antinatalism was base. So she can spawn here on our third, or she can spawn out in the other hallway. She can spawn um, back in the same room for a third. Like she's right there, but she can also go right there for her third. That's really loud. Wait, 
she go? That way. She went that way, yeah. So. It's probably over here. Yep. After stabbing the doll a third time and coming off the hardcore drugs that we were on, we find that we had actually just stabbed Donna Beneviento, adding one more to our account. Because while we were under the influence, it doesn't count. We still killed one of the characters. <sighs> That's only one added to the list, I think. I believe. Yeah, one. From that point on, it's just a short elevator ride back down and a run through a George Romero lookalike scene till we find our way back to the Duke. Thank you all for watching this episode of Resident Evil Pacifist. I'll see you in the next one. Please like the video if you liked it, and consider subscribing if you haven't already.